got it that um, I guess I really, really did upset the First Lady and the President of Guyana when I made those posts about all his side chicks and all the dirt that he be doing. Oh, hi, Pat. Good to care. Yeah. So, Smelly Smell has on our program there a number of... Yes, yes, I did it. I did it because you threw the fucking shades at me. Education from nursery to university used to be free on the Burnham. Right? So this, that they're, now attempt, that they're now attempting to bring back, you know the same Burnham that they sit down whole day and night and cuss? This was free on the Burnham. They removed it, and now they're attempting to bring it back. There's one time, Mama tell me, Jab, you tell you for stop, associate with me. No, not Jab, you. After the Americans started to investigate me and ask me questions, I disassociate myself because I didn't have any questions I didn't have any answers to the questions. So pay attention. Don't worry with the, with the, with the election game. It come, come this year, come next year. They're going to promise you all the moon and the star. Just remember that we're heading into an election year, 2025. I don't know why Jack Dio announced. Jack Dio is the one announcing that election is in 2025. That man would n just not give Efron Ali a chance to be president. Disruption in this country kids not going to school the person who would finance that you gotta worry about them you gotta worry about me the person who would instigate and orchestrate that mm -hmm. because of a issue with one body with a minister would be willing to create chaos in a country welcome back to the flight hit that subscription button buddy and stay updated with everything that's trending in guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. Got it that, um, I guess, I really, really did upset the First Lady and the President of Guyana when I made those posts about all his side chicks and all the dirt that he be doing. And they're saying, um, one friend said to me, oh, that's the people's personal life. And I should have never made the pose. I should have stayed out of it. And the president and the first lady are public figures. He is the president of the corporate republic of Guyana. And he is a public figure. And if, as a public figure, you can't keep your willy in your pants and you're out here spreading it around to Tom, Dick, and Harry, and people like me that y'all want to troll all day on social media and call from one whore to one low life imagine imagine your job is to troll a low life imagine though imagine darmalal who was supposed to be the next presidential candidate is now a common facebook troll imagine you this is the work you get trolling a low life imagine you as a former minister <laughs> you well you're still a senior member of the ppp but that's your job, to troll me daily. Imagine your job is to troll a low life now. Listen, I troll myself. Me and the 592 Comment Association, we just sit down and laugh at all of my pictures. We talk about it. We skin with it. I troll myself. How y'all want to troll me and embarrass me with things that I just post about myself? Pictures I post about myself. There's not trolling. How? How is it supposed to work out? Like how? How y'all trolling me? I supposed to be embarrassed? I supposed to feel shame? Mingado? I don't talk all my story plain and straight. And that is why I will re remain relevant. Minga nothing for hide. Y'all and y'all government got things to hide. And as long as y'all have things to hide and y'all continue to be involved in corruption and y'all continue to treat the people of Guyana bad, like I said, y'all want to make me irrelevant? Do the right thing. Do the right thing and I'll be irrelevant. Ghana announces plan for free university in 2025. So y'all see the year, the plan on announcing, the plan on starting the process of, 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 of doing free university of Guyana. So university from nursery to, from, from nursery. To, huh? So, pardon me? I know. What do you mean education? 
So university, so education from nursery to university used to be free on the Burnham, right? So this that they're now attempt that they're now attempting to bring back, you know, the same Burnham that they sit on whole day and night and cuss. This was free on the Burnham. They removed it, and now they're attempting to bring it back. You understand as an election gimmick and look when they're bringing it back the, the end of the year the 2025 the year when is is the election year so you know great planning yes we're going to bring free university but afan was also very careful with how he used his word when he was talking about bringing back free university so it's not guaranteed he said it's going to be done in a phase way a phase way so you, you don't know exactly yet who is going to be getting the free Free, um, free education at university at the university level is going to be done in a phase way. So pay attention. Don't worry with the, with the, with the election game. It come come this year, come next year. They're gonna promise you all the moon and the star. Just remember that we're heading into an election year, 2025. I don't know why Jack Dio announced. Jack Dio is the one announcing that election is in 2025. That man would n just not give Afan Ali a chance to be president. He ain't, given, he ain't given he a chance to be president. Now, why is the vice president announcing when his election? Why can't we hear that from the president? Why, why can't the president, why can't Irfan Ali announce that? Why can't he say when it's going to be the next election? Why we had to hear it from, why we had to hear it from Barrett? Why he had to announce it? Anyways, come 2025, November is going to be election. So this year and next year, and like I said, they're going to up their game and they're going to promise y'all the moon and the stars. All I can say to y'all, collect everything that they're offering. If you have an opportunity to collect what they're offering, collect it. Because it's one year of good service and four years of punishment when you don't vote for them. So you decide what y'all want to do. One love, Delta 9 family. Now... If anyone understands the biblical history when it comes down to Christianity versus Muslims, we know that now Christianity is more towards monogamy, right? And Muslims, Muslim men, are permitted multiple wives. They're polygamous. Now, the thing with this and if we could give another biblical evidence of this as well, if we understand as well, Ishmael is the lineage to which Muslim people would connect their history through Ishmael and then to Isaac and then to Father Abraham, allegedly. With this being so, we must consider that Ishmael's mother was, if we were to go into modern terms, to classify her, we would classify her as the side chick, not to give any disrespect to that you know, way of life, to that religion, or to the persons that are a part of it. Because really and truly, that's what really happened to you. If you're to go read it in the Bible, in the Tanakh, you'll see it. It's right there. For the people that are monogamous, which is most of the persons in Guyana, they might find an issue with the fact that the president might have more than one wife. You don't understand. So even though he's a Muslim and he might have more than one wife, he can't make it public because I guess what are gonna be the biggest scandal in a country that is mostly monogamous. Most persons that present monogamy with the marriage to one wife, one husband, they're going to have an issue with the fact that the president, the head of the country, is now having more privileges or more access than they are. And they're going to start to now have a whole lot of gripes about why is this like that. So you give them more of the norm. So that might be one of the reasons, allegedly, for the gripe. But guess what? Not everyone in the world is monogamous, you know? And some persons have that understanding within their relationship as well, too. So we can let them people do their thing in their relationship. We worried about what's going on with the governance of the country. We worried about what's going on when you come to what? When you come to what? When you come to govern the country, are you doing the things that you need to do when it comes down to governing the country? 
And we're hearing the conversation again about free education. We're hearing the conversation again about once more freeing up the education system so that Guyanese could have access to free education and have access to being able to grow. And guess what? The country could only get better because you got educated labor force. And when you got educated labor force, guess what? They can start coming up with new ways to use the great resources that we already got in the country. Watch how Guyana go grow when everything go back to the way that it was with the free education, but even more and even beyond the free education. Because guess what? As you start to learn certain things, you can want more access to. You need to free up the shipping system. Guyana got so many things that the world would love to buy at a faster rate and not through this slow trickle out trickling system that the country have. We need to get a better postage system. Guyana need an Amazon store. Trust me, if persons in Guyana had access to be able to sell digitally, if persons Guyana, in Guyana had access to faster international shipping, all of that extortion that's going on in Guyana for certain prices, for certain things, wouldn't happen anymore. So you gotta understand that that's why the shipping system is so hard. That's why certain prices is the way that it is. And that's some of the things that persons should address as well. When it coming down to this election, better shipping, a better shipping system. We want the whole postage system to be upgraded. We want to wait in three and four weeks to be able to access certain things and that go like, no, that got to stop. You must be able to ship and buy stuff and have your delivery just like everybody else in the world. We're around with Guyana. Fastest growing economy, one with the shipping system. That's a part of your infrastructure. We're around with the internet system. It should be unlimited and it should be cost effective. Subsidize the now. Subsidize the internet system so you could have unlimited plans in the country with all of them phone please. People should have unlimited access. It's if you're giving people free education, nothing can't teach you faster than the internet. Why not unlimited internet at a cheap rate in Guyana? That's fast that the world could talk about. Guess what? Now we're gonna hear from a farmer friend. And you know what they said? Only a friend know your secret. So only he could be the one that would reveal it. So we can hear, allegedly, some of the secrets being revealed here. We're going to hear some striking remarks being made by the critic about his farmer friend. Let's get right into this conversation and let's hear what's going on right here. Again, when I asked the elder Muhammad, I said, man, here, because I, he could have said, the vices were leaky in over it. And I would have just kept my mouth shut. This is him saying here, right? And then it's not for robbing he, like everybody saying. It's not for owing he, like everybody claiming. It's for throwing shades upon he, right? Oh, hi, Pops. Good to hear. Yeah. So, Smelly Smell has on our program there a number of... Yes, yes, I did it, I did it, because you threw fucking shades at me, you understand? Okay, I want okay, to okay. talk about it already, I no, did I it. I just want to make sure you're aware, because... Oh, you hear what I'm saying? I did it, okay? All right, Pop. Roger. Good. Yeah. You threw your fucking shades, you believe that I freaking like this cunt, you know? You All right. So, there's a political connotation to it. If you didn't know... It will be revealed in parts. Because one time, Mohammed tell me, Jadio tell you for stop, associate with me. No, not Jadio. After the Americans started to investigate me and ask me questions, I disassociate myself because I didn't have any questions. I didn't have any answers to the questions. You understand? I am not the person with the answers to the questions. So I had to. People want to know, what's the riff? Yes, there was a riff all the time. But there's a seeding thing behind all the time. And soon I'll go back to the post and we'll do episodes on specific things in specific time. I am the bad person. You think somebody who would want to see 
disruption in this country, kids not going to school, the person who would finance that, you got to worry about them, you got to worry about me. The person who would instigate and orchestrate that because of a issue with one body, with a minister, would be willing to create chaos in a country. Y'all yeah, gonna wake up. Ask yourself, where is the end? Where does it go? Where's the plan? Where's the intention? To my viewers and the people who care about me, I okay. I okay. I will be okay. I always okay. I finish another book today. It didn't stop me from reading a few chapters of the psychology of money today. That didn't stop me. I didn't lose no sleep. Well, I think about it. I had thoughts about what I was hearing. But if there's the best they got for me... <laughs> 100% wildcrafted sea moss from nature by natives. Why pay more? Remember, tell y'all that Mark Richmond called me. This is the printout, right? This is the printout. Y'all okay? This is the printout for me phone.